Welcome to my tutorials. My names are Mushiri Maikon Joki. Today we are learning how to write our first Java program. To write a Java program, you need your computer to have been installed with a JDK, that is Java Development Toolkit. Our first program, we will call it Simple Java. And the program will display a phrase, Java is simple. To write the code, we shall do three simple steps. These are, write the code, compile the code, and then we shall run the code. To write the code, we shall be required to create a working directory. A working directory is a folder in which we shall save our work. In this case, I've created a folder on my desktop and I've called it my Java work. This will be our working directory. So we open the folder. The first thing to do is to open a text editor. So we open a text editor and we click open. So we create a Java class by typing class simple Java. The class has a body that starts and closes with a curl bracket. The class will have a main method called public static void main string hugs. System dot out dot print ln Java is simple. We shall explain the code let me explain the code the java class the java code must be written in a class a class in Java starts with the keyword class, which should start with small c, and then followed by the name of the class, in our case, simple Java. Note that the class should always start with a capital letter. The class has a body and the body starts with a curl bracket. So every curl bracket, opening curl bracket, must have a corresponding closing curl bracket, which marks the end of the simple Java class. Our class has another method 
call the main method. The main method marks the place at which the system starts to execute your code. The main method has the following features. Public, static, void, main. And then it has the parameter string, args. Static means it is a class method. And void means that the return type is void. And main is the name of the method. Inside the main method, we put the code that we want the system to execute. In this case, we want the system to display the word Java is simple. So to display something on the screen in Java, we use the statement system.out.print. And then we put whatever we want to be displayed on the screen inside the bracket and we put it in double quote the next thing we need to do <coughs> is to save our code when you're saving java code you should always save the code the file with the same name as the class so we copy the name of the class we go to file, we go to save us, and uh, on the file name, we put the name of the class with an extension dot java. This will convert our text editor into a java file. So we, so we click save, and uh, if we close here, we can see now that inside our folder, we have two files. One is the text document, and the other one is the simple Java, which is a Java file. The Java file is now our source code. Source code is the file that contains the code written by the programmer. The next thing is to compile our source code so that we can convert it into a code that can be executed by a java virtual machine how do we compile the java code we use the command prompt so we go to our programs and we look for the command prompt you can look for it among the applications in your system or you can simply look for it by typing cmd on the search on the taskbar and you click on the command prompt from here you write the path to your working directory and uh, the working directory is here we can copy this and then we come here and you type cd work directory and enter so when we type that on our command prompt we have now opened our folder on the command prompt so the next thing is to compile the java for the java file in our working directory to compile we call the java compiler which is java so we say java java means java compiler space and we type the name of the file which is simple java dot java you enter now if your code is okay or 
if your code does not contain any error then the code will be compiled and converted into a byte code if we look at our working directory we can see that we have an extra file with the same name as our source code but it is now a dot class file which is a class file this is now the compiled source code it is a byte code the next thing we do is to run our compiled java code so that we can see the output of our program so to do that we simply call the java interpreter which is written as java so this is java and then we call the name of our class at this point we do not add the extension dot java we simply type java simple java if you enter then you can see that it displays the message java is simple which is the message you wanted to display if you go to our source code we can see let me open the source code you can see that we told the system to, to display the word java is simple and it is what has been displayed on the command prompt java is simple thank you